Giselle and I were doing this old house, and I was the old man in bed dying with the beard, and she was the uh, grandmother, my wife, rocking in the chair. I hope I was your wife. <laughs> <laughs> we wound up in bed together, believe me. But this is the way it happened. She's supposed to rock this way, and the, the guy's supposed to push a door in. Well, she's supposed to be forward with that. The guy pushes the, the door in when she's back and bangs her in the head, and then start to, it's supposed to rain, see? So the rain pipe comes, cue the rain pipe. You can hear the guys on, cue the rain pipe. Cue the rain pipe. Well, the guy got so scared that he dropped the rain pipe, and it came right down on us. And then somebody else hit Giselle. And the bed broke. Just somebody hit Giselle, though, and pushed her, and the bed broke in, and the other two and of I us went in. And I fell on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> getting ready to meet the saints, the two of us. I think that started sex on television. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't the Christmas show pose quite a problem, too? Oh, Wasn't yeah. there a thing where you sang something outdoors once? And, yeah. Every year. And, and couldn't remember the lyric or something? No, uh, that was uh, Oh Holy Night, and it's Giselle we were talking last night. Mike, they did, we did the last uh, number before the last number, which was a big uh, production number, all the dances and one thing or another. And then we had to uh, race down to the elevator. They would hold elevators for you, you know. And we would go down, we were on the eighth floor at 8H and NBC. And the whole cast would go down all the way to the basement, then run through that restaurant onto the plaza, the ice thing. Yeah. So we had to, they had to do, uh, I think the number before that was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Giselle and, and Russell and Dorothy were in the sled. And we and had that, to change costume running. Yeah. yeah. Why running in one minute. And had one minute to do it. Eight floors and change costumes? Right. And change costume. People changing, were throwing costumes people, you know, doing all this stuff at you. Oh, the costume front. people are following you. Oh, yeah. Things and, 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 and ripping away stuff, you know. Yeah. And then you had to look like you weren't out of breath at all. That so was also... Oh, oh, holy yeah. night. So we were also the, the beginning of the streakers, right? <laughs> <laughs> we were all in the sled, see? So then it goes to, the, to black, and uh, Andre goes... And now, ladies and gentlemen, in that wonderful, marvelous voice, it's only Andre Baruch's got, got some you know. voice, hasn't he? Uh, here is a, a tribute to Christmas, and the people of San 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 would like you. And I'm running across the thing, and it's been pre-recorded, everything but me. <laughs> so it's sleeting and snowing, if you remember, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the, the introduction starts, and there's like a, uh, and I lose the beat. Oops. I just think, oh my God, and Ray Charles is a wonderful co-director down in the bushes and one thing. And I get so excited. He's I mean, in the bushes? He's in the bushes directing. See, Does anybody conduct in a bush? <laughs> <laughs> See, everything is coming out of the loudspeakers, and we missed a couple of beats. So I came in wrong, and he's trying to get me back right. And after about eight bars or ten bars, I just quit, you know. And now I was standing at the foot of this 40-story uh, Christmas tree with the big guy holding the thing, the big atlas and everything. And your voice was actually going. Well, I stopped, Steve. Now, the, the music contained, it was pre-recorded. Oh, you were singing live? I was the, singing live, I, but oh, the music is pre-recorded through the loudspeaker. I get it. So I quit, and I said, I'm going to, where can I run? Where can I hide? I can't dig a hole. There's nowhere to go. I'll just wait till I hear something familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so I came back in, fortunately, right, but it sounded, it seemed like eons. Of course, it's only about, what, 10? Oh. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> See you tomorrow when we finish up with the 60s. I can't wait. Thanks to Giselle McKenzie Thank and Stooky Lanson for being with us. Thank you, Mike. And my friend Liberace for co-hosting. Thank you, Mike. Continued success to you.